thinks it's just been nothing but glowing reviews. Mm -hmm. I really like in the fight sticks, they have a compartment to put all your wire in. Oh, no, that's just me. <laughs> Pretty neat. Uh, here we go. We have uh, Renarism again versus. Is that Nick Nicks? Okay. <laughs> Nick Nicks. Confusing us with those strange names. Uh, but we did see Renars earlier. Like I said, he is a DOA forum community person that we've seen around. And he is a TS specialist. I, I may be wrong, but I, I think I I remember Nick Nicks as a forum dweller before. Not one that I saw very often, but... Well, it looks like he's definitely know what he's doing because he just took that first round there with Li Feng. Indeed. We'll see if he can keep it up here. This is one of the oldest DOA rivalries, you know, is Li Feng versus Tina. Why is that? Well, they've, they've had a rivalry going since uh, DOA 1 and DOA 2. In fact, in DOA 2, they even had cutscenes together and such. And boom, there she it stole is. Stole cabbage. No, no. No, back then, uh, Tina was throwing rocks at Lei Fong, and Lei Fong was breaking them with her palm to show her who was boss. She just likes to mess with people's objects. She does. <laughs> All right, well, it's even between these two players. It is now one and one. Very nice. Here we are seeing uh, Tina's very uh, grapple ability, which is known and strong for. Here we go here. A nice little guard break they put in uh, that kick. Nice to see that there. Nice, that uh, three low sweeps there. It looks like, you know, if it's not broken, he's not going to fix it. And it's what he's used to win that is now in his favor, two to one. Yeah, it's nice to see. Tina still has that down back punch that uh, causes so many trip stuns. And trip stuns are better in this game, by the way. For about half the stun's duration, you can't counter at all. In a lot of cases, that means there's a guaranteed follow-up. Yeah, there's like a small no hold window. Exactly. And here we go. I want to see if she still get the... I guess maybe the uh, ground throw follow-up is guaranteed there. He just doesn't know to go for it. I, I don't know if they change that. Well, if Renarism can take out this, the last round here, he will be winning the first game. Ooh, nice guard break. But that doesn't scare Tina. Oh, there oh. comes the trampoline of death. It Ooh. doesn't follow it up, and he gets countered for it. He didn't know that when you jump off that trampoline, you're in a ground bounce, which allows you to continue the combo string. So unfortunately, he could have won, but you know, it's a good game for everybody. Yeah, in my case in particular, I don't know a lot of the follow-ups myself. Yeah. I, know that, I know that they're there. I just right. haven't had time to practice them. So, right. so like sometimes I, you whiff, too, and you don't really want to do that. So egg, Exactly. Better so. stand and guard. It's just one of those uh, issues of practice, unfortunately. And we all haven't had a lot of it, so. <laughs> all right, now we have Tina versus Li Fang, putting her up against the ropes. This is Tina's stage, so, uh, you know, maybe she's got an advantage. Yeah, there's uh, a few things Tina can do here. Li Fang really cannot take advantage of, so. A very nice eight hit combo coming out of Li Fang. She's putting on the aggression here, and it seems to be working for her. Ooh! Oh. He knew how to finish off that combo, that's for sure. And uh, it's now in his favor, 1-0. to zero. That it is. And, you know, Lei Fong has to be careful when she does that there. That leaves her very unsafe and open to that throw punishment. Oh, and Renaris was probably thinking that Lei Fong was going to run in there, but it didn't happen. Just paid for it. Very go. good aggression. Putting her up against those ropes exactly what you need to do to get that massive damage and put on the aggression there. Nick Nick's is saying, so this is your stage, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Very good blocking, and then, was that a punishable move? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that one was, no. No, but he did grab and uh, take her out of her defense. Oh. Nice hold there, because that guaranteed follow-up. And boom, that's it. Nick Nick closes that one out. Nice, it looks like we're having another person who knows what they're doing with DOA here. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Nice little uh, underwear strap from <laughs> Lee Feng. Oh, you guys can't see it because they switched over to the player there. And, indeed. Um, doing his little advertisement. Pl plugging himself <laughs> there, I guess, you know, free plug, free plug. So. Uh, hey, why not, right? <laughs> it's like, I won it, I earned it. <laughs> All right, well, it uh, looks like we're going to be heading into this next round here. No character chains or anything, so it will be Tina versus Lee Feng. And we're going this Indiana Jones themed level. We yeah, haven't seen, yeah, uh, we, point. We haven't seen really a power blow on the stage yet. They're harder to get now since uh, Critical Burst are made a little more trickier to pull off, so. That is true. But normally, when you get a power blow on this level, a boulder comes rolling by and you can uh, Oh, on the, the stage? In. Oh, yeah. Right down the waterway, just comes tumbling oh, down. Oh, that's what makes you say in the end. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, exactly.
exactly. And you can send him into this massive boulder? Yep. That's so cool. Yeah, that is pretty neat. I haven't seen it happen yet in the actual game. I saw it happen in one of the uh, combos. In one of the combo trailers, yeah. Okay, okay. Get ready. All right, well here, Li Fang is taking that first round again. Once again, don't forget, you have to be careful in water because of the stun property. Looks like he goes for that low, which is exactly what you want to do because, you know, they're going to be defending the highs and mids, so you want to get that stun off with that low. Seems Nick Nix is coming back here just with a passion. There's that low again. Holds that, but it's an unholdable strike, so the best he's going to do is get a little sidestep out of it. In ours, we need, like, maybe one good whiff punish, and he can come back from this. Oh, and he gets Ooh. countered there. Looked like Tina was going to have a combo, but he knew exactly how it was going to end and countered it just in time. Yep, unfortunately, that seems to be the case. Narism is definitely feeling the pressure here. Nick Nix has a commanding lead. One more hit can really do this. And, oh my gosh, this is so close. Oh, he knew he wanted to go low, but Tina knew and blocked it. Oh, oh that's it. Unfortunately. Nick Nix takes it. He had way too much health, unfortunately, and all he got was that low hit. Yep, Nick Nix basically takes that. It was really no contest there at the end. He just took that lead and he ran with it all the way until the end. That is very true, and he's going to wait for his next opponent here.